Hello, welcome back to the channel. And it's another What's Wrong With This One. The car today is this 2007 Mini, I think it was a Mini 1, actually. I thought it was a Cooper, but... Don't say on the back. Yeah, Mini 1, when I phoned the main dealer. Now, this came to us as a non-runner. The guy who dropped it off is a mechanic, or was a mechanic. Um, he's fucked around a shitload himself. He's had second-hand ECU kits or engine ECU. He's had the instrument cluster, cast unit. What else have we had? I think he swapped the fuse box in there. I don't think he needed to do that. The footwell module, um, airbag unit, possibly. Um, it was a non-runner when cranking wouldn't start. Obviously, he's, you know, there was no spark on any of the ignition coils. Um, so he dropped it off to us wanting a wiring loom fitted. So obviously, we've done that for him. Still no, uh, no joy, still wouldn't run, wouldn't start. Um, so it was obviously the apprentice that, that fitted this wiring loom and then yeah, when it's come to it, not starting, I've had to sort of step in. I think it's had a crankshaft sensor as well, now that I think about it. Uh, so I have, what have I done? I've traced the wiring back to the ECU, checked out fine. Each of the coil had a 12 volt supply. Uh, engine earth, chassis earths are all good. Check the crank sensor for supply voltage. It had five volts and four volts down, you know, each each wire. Uh, and then the third wire, maybe an earth or a signal wire. What else can I tell you? Um, we've started stripping it out again because I was going to put it back to standard. Standard, you know, ECUs, cast module, everything. Just so we can sort of, you know, kind of get a blank canvas. Because um, there was a canvas fault in that cast unit. Uh, although that seems to have cleared now with, with dicking around. Um, now, the fault has ended up being the pickup ring for the crank sensor. Uh, I've just been under it, obviously when I was checking the, the voltage to the crank sensor. Yeah, and it just so happened that by chance, um, obviously, so you sort of look past past this ring here and past the crank sensor, you can see the pickup ring just in there, them sort of, I would say, teeth almost. It just so happened that where the engine had stopped, I, I saw one that was sort of bent on a 45 degree angle almost so I've sort of prized the flywheel around by hand um, just checking and I think there was maybe three or four that were bent uh, it was like a 45 degree straighten them up um, as best I can but obviously they've got to sit a certain distance from the sensor as well and from the angle I'm looking at I can't really see whether they're uh, sat where they should be um, but now that when, when we press the key, it does start. Idle is a bit shitty, but um, I've ordered a new pickup ring, impulse wheel or whatever the hell they call them. Um, so hopefully I'll get this gearbox ripped out tomorrow. Probably won't get it finished tomorrow, but hopefully this will point you in a direction. So this, the story with this was it, it cut out while driving, so a foreign object must have got in there somehow and bent them rings unless the clutch maybe has, has given up, release bearing perhaps, I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, we had we had no fault cords either. Uh, I think there was maybe a coolant temperature sensor fault, uh, but there was nothing pointing towards crankshaft sensor. Like I say, it had one replaced just, you know, just in case. Um, and also, so when looking at live data, um, when cranking, the en engine speed was registering on the on the scanner about maybe 200 RPM, which, when it's cranking, is probably probably about right. Uh, so there was no real indication that there was an issue with that ring. Um, 
maybe a bit of luck, I think, is what has fixed it. Obviously, if we had an oscilloscope, we don't have an oscilloscope or a picoscope uh, where I work, so I couldn't really back probe it and check the waveform that way. So it's just something for you to check. It takes two minutes to get under it and sort of have a look, see whether your, uh, your pickup ring is damaged. I mean, look, hopefully you will be getting a fault code for like a, you know, signal implausible on the crank, crankshaft, but we weren't. But anyway, hopefully we're on the way to mending it now, so cheers for watching this quick one, and we shall see you next time. Bye. Oh, shit. Bye.